The DEA says there's an alarming trend, mass overdoses caused by fentanyl. In less than two months, seven cities in the U.S. have had events where three or more people overdosed at the same time in the same place. One third of all fentanyl related overdose deaths are concentrated in just five states, including Pennsylvania. Meantime, a major victory for the state of West Virginia and its battle against opioid addiction. The state attorney general announced a settlement worth tens of millions in the state's case against Johnson & Johnson's Janssen Pharmaceuticals. Royce Jones is here with more. Royce. Well, Ken, West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey said his office will only settle if there's an offer on the table that's in the very best interest of West Virginia. And in this case, it was a settlement worth $99 million for victims of the opioid disaster in the state, which leads the country in overdose deaths. According to the CDC, in 2021, more than 1,400 people died from drug overdoses in West Virginia, nearly 1,200 of them involving opioids. And West Virginia, like many other states and cities, across the U.S. have sued some of the nation's top drug makers for their role in furthering the opioid crisis, mainly for a lack of transparency about the risk of addiction associated with some prescription meds. Today's settlement actually doubles the amount of money that the state would have received through a national settlement with Janssen, of which the state opted out. Based upon some of the original numbers, they were looking at 48 million. I thought that was inadequate because I thought it represented more of a population-based metric, and West Virginia has a severe opioid problem, and so the terms of the settlement needed to change. They obviously have. Um, I also believe this is the number one uh, rated per capita settlement in the country. And the settlement needs to first be approved by a political subdivision in West Virginia. This needs to happen in 45 days. Meanwhile, West Virginia remains in litigation with multiple other pharmaceutical companies over their alleged contribution to the state's opioid crisis. Kim.